Hey folks, Captain Jim coming to you with another riding video. Today we're back to Sturgis, the biggest motorcycle rally on earth. And it's a week before the rally, so things have not gotten underway yet. You can see riding down Main Street that there are far more cars than there are motorcycles. But Sturgis is all abuzz with activity. The vendors are setting up t-shirt shops, food vendors, all manner of things that you can buy for your body and your motorcycle. One week from today, the rally gets underway. And all these cars you see on the street, those will be gone. There'll be four rows of motorcycles, one on either curbside and two rows right down the middle for the five blocks long of Main Street. All these buildings that you see that don't look very occupied right now will be full of t-shirt shops, tattoo artists, uh, whatever you can sell to people, they'll be selling it here. Sturgis is a community of about 7,000 and the uh, population swells to over half a million when the rally is in full swing. It will be the largest city in the state of South Dakota by a long stretch. It will bring millions of dollars into the local and the state economy. Alright, we just turned off Main Street and we're heading down Junction and here's a look at something uh, you may not be aware of our first rally was in 1978 and that place you're seeing right there that was the very first vendor she was called the t-shirt lady and she would come into town and set up during the rally and you could buy t-shirts three for twenty dollars back then until the last day of the rally and then you could get them three for ten. Now we're going up uh, Lazelle and this is one of the two main drags in Sturgis and all this blacktop that you see on either side of the road will be full of vendor tents for blocks. There are a few year-round places like the, uh, the Knuckle, One-Eyed Jacks, Loud American Roadhouse that are on the main drags in Sturgis. And they're there year-round, but not very active. What you're seeing over there on the right, that's uh, the local grocery store. And that parking lot will be full of the vendor tents. And looking on the left, you can see some of the vendor tents that are setting up. This actually looks more like a construction zone than a motorcycle rally right now, with all of the uh, vendors in the middle of getting set up. And some that look like the tents are all closed up, there's activity going on inside as they get racks set up, t-shirts set up. Looking over to the right, that's the uh, Sturgis Community Center, and that will be the home of Harley Davidson during the rally. They'll be doing demo rides and selling all manner of Harley Davidson accessories there as well. And this is unique. Uh, I was not aware of this if they were here last year, but this year, that uh, all those motorcycles you see there, there was a billboard on the uh, interstate on the way up. And that is Ride Now, that is going by the name of Rumble On, that they have between five and 600 motorcycles for sale during the rally. You may have heard me refer to Ride On as Rip Off. Uh, they're not my favorite 
collection of dealers. They have the giant dealerships in quite a few states, uh, multi-brand places. Hard sell, high finance. Okay, now we're rolling down actual Main Street in Sturgis. And this is an area that even if you've been to the rally, you may not have seen. It's a couple blocks long uh, by the county building that is on the right there. And there'll be motorcycles parked on both sides of the streets, but not down the middle. Not until you get to this part right here. And this is the main drag in Sturgis. And looking off to the left over here, hey, that's where I had lunch today. The Loud American Roadhouse. Uh, the best steak tips in Sturgis. It's kind of fun to look around and see how things progress. I did a video about three weeks ago for the month before the rally starts and there was way less activity than there is right now. Once the rally is in full swing, besides all the humanity that you will see here, there will be a couple of setups on the first block of Main Street where you can walk up uh, a ramp or stairs up to an observation deck and take over all photos of uh, Main Street from a higher perspective. That huge tent that you see on the uh, left, that wasn't here a week ago. That th covers about a quarter of a block. All right, we're turning on to uh, Junction here and headed south. And that nearly empty parking lot with about, oh, maybe 10 or 12 bikes in it is the Harley Davidson dealer. That's kind of a misnomer because they really aren't selling a lot of motorcycles and that there. Their main dealership is down in Rapid City and they'll have their own rally there. Okay, we've left town and we're rolling on out into Van Ocker Canyon. And I was uh, riding through here a month or so ago and they had uh, done a chip seal on this road. And this is a great riding road. It's, it's different from like Iron Mountain Road and some of what you'd see in Custer State Park. But I gotta hand it to the Meade County road crews or whoever it is that's doing the road work for them. They don't have the striping done here, but their road surface is significantly better than what Pennington County has done with uh, Neck Yoke Road, South Rockerville Road, and Playhouse Road that we ride frequently. This looks like it was actually pressed down before they put the final coat of oil on it. These are uh, long sweeping turns compared to some of the tighter turns like down Custer State Park. So the speed limit is 45-ish and uh, a little slower through some of the curves, but some really, really good riding. Not much in the way of the diminishing radius turns and beautiful scenery the whole stretch of this canyon. All right, I'll be quiet for a while. We'll kick the music up a little bit and enjoy the riding.